A new law aims to better protect some of the most vulnerable South Carolinians, including children. And it gives law enforcement more tools to hold people accountable who try to do them harm. Our State House reporter Mary Green has the details. On Thursday, Governor Henry McMaster joined lawmakers here at the State House to mark a new bipartisan law in South Carolina focused on protecting trafficking survivors and kids. This new law creates a criminal offense of child luring in South Carolina, with convictions punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Before this, if an adult tried to lure a child into their car or home, it wasn't a crime until they physically shut the door with the child inside. This new law also prohibits victims of human trafficking who are younger than 18 from being prosecuted for conduct stemming from the trafficking. And it allows all trafficking survivors to motion to expunge records of convictions for nonviolent offenses their captors force them to commit. Together, each part of this act will work to build a stronger body of armor for children, and victims of crime in South Carolina. And the new law also establishes an address confidentiality program for survivors of domestic violence, trafficking, stalking, harassment, and... And while today's ceremony commemorated the new law, it's been in effect since Governor McMaster actually signed it last month, Riley. Well, we have seen a beautiful...